Hey folks, and welcome to part 6 of Garuman, a monstrous adventure. In the last part, we went through kind of a forest maze, and now I'm back in town because I kind of need to stock up on some stuff after going through, you know, what I went through the last part. So, yeah, as I told you before, this lady has mystery, uh, she has mystery powers, so she can open up mystery bags. You have that helmet I got. Um, kind of like protects against damage and stuff like that so um, it's good that's a good um, item to have actually so I'm gonna be using that quite a lot and you'll see but right now I'm just loading up on some chocolate and getting some healing items with some cookies and stuff like that too man I I sound really fat <laughs> just just saying that stuff jeez oh man but yeah, we uh he's telling us to buy a gas mask, but Perrin says she already has one, so she's not even interested. So right now I'm going to upgrade the um the new item that I got. I'm gonna make sure I upgrade that as well. So I'm just upgrading my gas mask while I have the opportunity to do so. So I'm going to um be doing that. Like I said, I'm gonna be upgrading as much as that's as much stuff as I can for the moment in the time being so I'm gonna go ahead upgrade the helmet now so yep reduce um, reduce damage by 50% so that's always something to have um, you know when you're fighting like a boss or something you want your damage you know damage reduction as much as possible so now that I'm restocked and you know now that I'm feeling ready to take on some more of this game, I'm going to go ahead and head back out in the uh, pretty much the main map of the game and see what else that you know who else stuff needs to be saved. And I'm going to uh, just go ahead and head out. Um, it's going to be time for a new elemental actually that we can get at Asparagus Lake. If I'm even saying that right, um, yeah, so we have a new elemental that we're going to be getting. I told you folks, uh, last couple of parts. Actually, I told you when I obtained the fire, um, the fire drill parts that there are other elementals, but I didn't want to, uh, ruin that for you into telling you what there are. So I'm just kind of keeping this one under wraps until we actually get to it but it's really easy to get to the necessary elemental that we need to get and it is essential and there it is the thunder elemental or the shock parts as they call it yeah it is the thunder elemental so we have the thunder ele um, elemental now in our hands so yep we have some more to go when it comes to parts but you know I'll just keep that under wraps eventually when we get to that so gonna go ahead and um i've never been on a swan or whatever but i believe there's gonna be a cutscene coming up so i'm going to um you know be quiet when eventually because we gotta reach a cave and this is the cave right here so shutting up this place is next <laughs> she's here What is that? Hey! What happened? This giant rock came out of nowhere. Now, I can't get through. Hmm. Could it be... What? Oh, nothing. <sighs> what do you mean, nothing? You know, a mole might be able to break this rock. A mole? I think I know who you're talking about. I'll go get him. That shadow figure that looked it awfully like Perrin, if I'm saying her name right. I think I am, Perrin. But anyway, um, yeah, that doppelganger, shadow doppelganger weirdness huh so basically what we have to do is find someone who can break down that wall for us and this guy is just the, the guy to do it doug so doug the mo is actually going to help us out if and yeah there's a big if if 
we beat him in a competition that he's setting up. So, yeah, I'm ready for your challenge. All you have to do is drill more rocks than he does. Like, whoever destroys the most rocks wins. There's his counter, my counter, and let's do this. Let's go ahead and start. So, I'm going to go ahead and give my... Whoa, that rock landed almost correctly, like, directly on me. Jeez. But, so far, it's even. Um... Yeah, but this is also a good opportunity for me to rack up money. Um, as I stated before, and I'm going to be stating this multiple times, it's boulders and stuff, they 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 seem like they extract the... Whoa, okay, that was close. Uh, they seem like they get the, um, like the most amount of money out of boulders and stuff so if you crack those open if you ever running low like I stated before you can always go to these guys but I'm not really focused on collecting the money I'm just focusing on beating Doug in this competition so he can help me out so we can progress through the game more so as you can't tell my counter is on the left his is on the right I'm winning so far by a lot actually I'm up nearly by 10 and it's only probably going to go up higher. But yeah, there's no timer, uh, sadly, on how long this is supposed to go on. So the only indication of this stopping, I guess, when, you know, they give the indication to. But it would have been nice to see a timer, you know, on the upper left-hand corner or right-hand corner, either one. But yep, the final score, 31 to 19. That's a pretty good score. Um... So, yeah, he's um, stating that even though she's won, he's still more powerful. So, he's going to head off to the cave. And we're going to be joining him there in just a moment. And when we do that, I know for certain that's going to cut a... Um, that's going to show another cut scene eventually when we get there. So, when that happens, once again, I'm going to be quiet because I'm interested in this story as much as you folks are. So, let's uh, sit back and enjoy. Good. You're here. Yep. Time to get started. Huh? Don't believe it! What is it? Well, this is no ordinary rock. What kind of rock is it? A really, really hard rock! Isn't there anything else you can do? Hmm... Well, my brother Digby should be around. If we work together, we should be able to destroy this rock. Well, where is your brother? I think he said he was going to visit Monster Village. Got it. I'll find him. Uh, I, this part is annoying. It's kind of like a mini fetch quest. Um, basically what we have to do is we have to go to Monster Village to find uh, Doug's brother, uh, Digby. And with that, we have to... Digby... Uh, Digby gets lost so basically this is Digby right here um, and basically like I said it before it's a fetch, uh, fetch quest so yeah he says he's going to the cave but not really you'll see what happens you know because he doesn't really he's directional blind or something like that so he doesn't know where he's going when he's digging underground so he's here instead in the radish woods so and if you see him by the fountain right there and talk to him you'll get him on the uh right path again so i say but yep he got a, he said he got lost he found himself here um parents telling him to just walk and yeah he didn't do that <laughs> he she is getting taken off at by what this guy is doing because he's completely ignoring what she's asking him or rather telling him to do so if you um go to where we got our shop parts at which is at the asparagus lake you'll find him there once again and 
he's going to be sitting there pretty much cruising there. See, there he is right there. So, talk to him. And, yeah, you're going to see, like, he says, is there a problem? And she told him to walk because he's supposed to be at the cave. And <laughs> he's not even there. So, yeah, she's threatening him, um, telling him, you better start walking now. So, he gets the memo. He's going to pretty much just walk back to the cave so we won't have, you know, any more interruptions of where he needs to go. So, once he's at the cave another cutscene is going to play so i'm going to be quiet so we can enjoy watching the cutscene together you're back we have been waiting baby i finally got you two together you think you can do it this time no problemo wait until you see the super mole brothers in action ready brother all right bro that was quick. Oh! Brothers can do anything if they work together. Good. Now you can get through. We've got to split. But if you need anything, we'll come running, baby. If I could find you again, no thanks. <laughs> um, I gotta agree with Doug where he said brothers can do anything if they work together and hearing him say that reminds me of you know because I have a lot of brothers I really do so you know whenever we get together or whatever we just have a good time and if we ever had to come to a situation where we had to work together well, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do that so this is the place where you want to have your gas mask available um, because if you come to this place and you don't have that you're going to get damaged a lot and um, sooner or later I'm pretty sure you're going to get a game over from not having that. It don't, The gas mask don't cost much so you know get it whenever you can and I got it early so I can have it. Also you have to upgrade it in order for it to take effect so um, I stated this before, I'll just go over it again a little bit. Um, in order for you to, you know, you buy the weapon and then you have to upgrade it for the weapon to become effective. So that's, given a big summary, I'm not going to go over, you know, what I find wrong with that again because I would just be repeating myself over and over. So, yeah, but just make sure that when you come here, you have your gas mask on the ready because they have plenty of these poison poisonous uh poisonous flowers that's you know here and for this um weapon or for this uh thing right here make sure you have your fire part uh equipped because that's the only thing that i find that you know can melt these things so you can actually do damage on them so you already have your fire part don't have to worry about that you just have to worry about equipping it so you can damage uh these guys right here so you can get this gate open so you can um explore a more of what this um more of what this level has to offer and this part right here is going to be kind of me bsing i'm going to be grinding for monster junk um or you know phantom junk as they call it within the game i still call it monster for some reason or another but yeah i'm gonna be doing that but thankfully you folks uh you won't have to go through seeing me do that because i'm going to cut that um part out so you folks can pretty much just watch me go through the rest of the game as uh planned it i don't i didn't want to show you folks you know me doing all that grinding you know, unless it was absolutely necessary, which is not on this part. I'm just getting junk because I thought, you know, why not? It's free junk that I can get. So, I'm, um, you know, and <laughs> that right there is pretty much just um, showing you, yeah, that I finished grinding. I didn't want to know what that last monster that cost a thousand coins was going to um, be. So, yeah, I just, um, just decided... Uh, Ah, I just decided to stop at that part and these guys were unexpected at all caused my drill to level up and <laughs> as you can see they're kind of stunned uh, as they're moving slow as you can see like that stuns them so 
uh, they don't move as fast as, you know, they obviously would be, but, yeah, um, anyway, there are plenty of hidden switches here that you can find, um, just look through the cracked walls, but this right here, this area that we're in right now, this is our main objective where we need to go, let me go ahead and heal up right quick, yeah, but, um, yeah, this is pretty much the main area where we need to be, but I'm going to just explore a little bit before coming here. So, I'm kind of uh, curious about something, but yeah, what we need to know is, yeah, it's just a game of Switch. So, we have to hit that Switch to bring that platform down, and then we have to hit another Switch to open the gate. So, yeah, games that do that are just, ugh. <laughs> but anyway here yeah this saw whatever it actually took me a couple of tries to make it across because of me being impatient and all that good jazz so yep it's another case of just me being impatient going wrong and I'm going over here now just look like I'm in complete sludge but I'm going here now because there's um like I stated before hidden goodies and all that stuff that I sometimes go out of my way for it just depends on what that hidden goodie is and there there's an enemy right there if you folks haven't seen that I'm pretty sure you have and get up there jeez but yeah I did all that for a pot and a chest that um, we can uh, get and inside this chest is power oil so that can be helpful when I'm in a um, definite pinch. But yeah, this guy right here. Where'd you come from, dude? <laughs> it took one hit. That's all it took to get rid of you, man. But what were you doing in that water anyway? It must have been when I was hitting your buddies and you must have just flew in that direction. But let me go ahead and power up my drills since there's nobody here to, you know, interrupt me from the time being. And let's go into... The level gonna go ahead and equip my goggles so I won't take any unnecessary damage and there's not gonna be any plants for a while so I'm kind of safe for the time being and take care of these bats because they are annoying and um, there is some junk here that I'm going to collect for sure I mean why not it's free junk so push this block here if I could get a good freaking grip her uh, I already been over this. I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, on boss control, yeah, I'm not gonna go over that again. It'd be a waste of time to do so. And these bats right here, um, hit them if you want to. They're gonna count towards your enemy drop. And we're doing all this. What the? Oh, <laughs> and we're doing all of this just to activate a switch that we need to. Um, it, it's to activate a gate. That we need to go through so we did all that for that so yep um and with these they're gonna be kind of like a little i say kind of like a little gauntlet of enemies that we have to take care of you know they don't make things easy for us that's for sure and i'm trying to be careful not to knock these guys while they got junk into the little um ravines down there even though the ravines are filled with water so yeah, I'm not trying to let any of these items go to waste unless it's, you know, out of my control, but I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to take these guys out as quick as I can so I can, you know, hurry up and finish the last little bit of the level that's left. So, <laughs> these guys are slow now. Uh, I hit them with that shock part. So, what I should have done is, why they were stunt like that, I should have just went over to the collect the junk because I'm... I'm distracted by it. I can tell like I was distracted by you know I'm not only facing these guys but do collect the junk as well have you guys ever done that in a video game you're you see like your goal in front of you but you have to do something else in order to obtain your goal but you just want to rush to do your goal in the first place and that doesn't really sound like it makes sense but whatever but these guys right here just, oh man, I can leave right now if I wanted to, but these guys are just putting the pressure on me with this um, junk that they have that I want to collect because I want to upgrade my stuff sooner or later. So, 
yeah with that that guy's finished so let's go ahead and just leave this area right here and inside right now we have a hat rack and you guess right if you knew who this belonged to so we got an a because we missed a couple of stuff but you know what it's all good we finished that area it's all clear um the map's looking just a tad bit clearer we're not um out of the woodwork yet we still have a lot to go yeah we still have a lot to go so you want to guess who this hat rat belongs to yeah it belongs to pre it's his so yeah with his it's going to yeah figure it was his yeah i had a like i had no time at all figuring out who this hat rat belongs to but yet yeah, once you return the hat rat to its rightful owner it's gonna go ahead and open up some more maps like it or open up some more areas within the map like it usually does so we can go here now um part of that ruins and we can go down there but it's going down there there's nothing there useful yet but Folks, I'll see you in part 7 of Garumin, A Monstrous Adventure. You folks have a great day and take care.